I need to automate my dust collection system because I'm lazy. I made a prototype for how this is going to work, but last time I tried to show you some electronics, most of you clicked away. Here is my woodworking machine. Here is my dust collector. Here's a blast gate. And this is my prototype circuit. When I turn a woodworking machine on, the blast gate opens the dust collector turns on and all that is possible because of my prototype sensing circuit and my Arduino that I've programmed to do things. First, I need to take this mess of a prototype and turn it into something more permanent on this perf board. This is a circuit I need to make on the perf board and this is a current sense transformer. It's the component that's going to detect when a machine has turned on. Now this one is prepped and ready for solder, but I need a bunch more, one for each of one of my machines. So through the use of TV magic, I have nine more complete. Ooh, hot. Now I need to wire my current sense circuits to each of my machines. Each machine gets its own box for the circuit to live in, and I'm gonna put that near the switch. This is the switch for the different modes for the dust collection. I'm just going to screw this temporarily on backwards here so I can solder it off. I need a way to turn on the dust collector, so I'm going to use solid state relays to do that. After I get the Arduino set up, I'm going to run wiring to the control voltage on the relay. I need a way to rotate the blast gates automatically, so I'm going to attach a servo motor. If you're wondering about these blast gates and how I made them, there's a whole video. You can check it out right here. So that little thingamidoo right there just slides right on the spindle of the motor. Yeah, see, told you. I've attached the motors, now I'm just gonna give it a quick test to see if it's rotating properly. I have... Okay, that was weird. Well, it rotates. I was gonna say I have this set up so I can test it. It seems to just want to do whatever it wants to do. Let me try another one. Let me open it. Ah, let me close it. Seems okay there. But if I close it, oh boy. Like, what was that about? So it seems like some of the motors work and some are just like not working at all. I did a bit of research. I thought I bought good quality servos, but it turns out I bought counterfeit servos that look a lot like the real deal. From the original manufacturer's website states this, and I quote, we are the original manufacturer of Tower Pro MG995 servo. There are many counterfeit servos of Tower Pro from dealers selling on eBay, Amazon, and Alibaba websites. If the suppliers removed Tower Pro logo from the photos, and the product's description, they are selling counterfeit, low-quality servos. There is no Tower Pro logo. So this... Junk. Did I make it in the garbage? Oh yeah. My glasses are fogging up. I'm doing some shopping. This looks a little sketchy. Success.
This is the cabinet I made in my last video. I'm gonna put it on the wall right now and inside is gonna be the Arduino and a bunch of other stuff. Solid. This is a shield for the Arduino. All it has is a bunch of these screw terminals. It just allows for more secure connections. I'm gonna use this old BlackBerry charger, which is a five volt USB charger to run the Arduino and the sensors. Whereas that six volt power supply up there is just for the servo motors. It's a little bit jank, but like, it's fine. I'll put it all in a box after until I figure out what size box I need. That's good. Five volts. Wicked. Power is good. Whee. Snippy snippies. There they are. And strippy strippy. And crimpy crimpy. Screwy screwy. Screwy screwy. I'm looking right at it. I'm looking right at it. I'm looking right at it. Where are you? I found it. Now I gotta wire more power to everywhere in the shop, basically. Everywhere! I don't have a more elegant solution than just a bunch of zip ties for now. I'll get some sort of wire wrap going on maybe eventually. Probably not. Each blast gate gets its own terminal strip in a box so I can make a bunch of wiring connections. The servo motors has this little dinky connection here. Don't know what it's called, but it is useless for my needs. These are called ferrules. They make a more secure connection on a terminal strip with a strand of wire. No, you with the camera, help me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm finally done. I finished wiring all the machines. I changed the code to reflect all the machines in the shop and not just the single prototype I was working on. And now I can just test it out and hope that it works. I will be destroyed if it doesn't. I'm going to test it with the table saw. The table saw has two dust collectors, one for the overhead using this blast gate and one that goes underneath. There's a blast gate down there which you can't see, but I'll let you know if it works. Here's an overview of how the system works. I have six machines in my shop and each has a current sense transformer so when I turn a machine on it sends a signal to an input on the Arduino which sends a signal to the servo motor to open the blast gate and finally a signal is sent to a relay that turns on the dust collector. When I turn a machine off, 30 seconds later, the dust collector turns off, and then another 15 seconds later, the blast gate closes. Both the table saw and the router table have an additional switch that controls whether the overhead dust collection is on or off. I am super excited that this works and now I don't have to think about dust collection anymore when I'm working. It just turns on automatically if I turn a machine on. Was it worth it? No. Bye!